and there's a company that wants to put an extra buzz in your morning coffee. Danielle Nottingham now on how pot is calling coffee the next big thing. You can't find these pods at the grocery store. Filling the pods, the this, filling is this the all done by hand? This is done by hand. Brewbuds makes K-cups filled with coffee, cocoa, and teas infused with cannabis oil out of this factory in Las Vegas. People are very ritualistic about the cannabis consumption. They can bring them together in a very discreet, easy form to consume cannabis. Recreational and medicinal marijuana is now legal in more than two dozen states and the District of Columbia. That's led to a billion dollar market, including edibles. A variety of companies are now offering cannabis coffee or tea that fits right into your Keurig or traditional coffee maker. Will you get high drinking the tea or the coffee? Yes, you will. Now, what we've We've got is uh, it's a 10 milligram. It's a very light dose in Orange County, California. Ganja grinds makes cannabis laced coffee filters, K cups and cold coffee and tea drinks. This would make one pot mm -hmm. pun intended of coffee. <laughs> CEO Chris Hayes says the business has grown 600% in the last year. When you put the product into things that they're familiar with, you remove the smell, you re remove the visual representation of cannabis. It takes a lot of the fear out of using a cannabis product. Emma Petrack likes to drink the tea and it's become part of her nightly routine. It gives me some focus at night if I'm going to sleep. It really helps settle my mind and relax my body. But enjoying a cup is not cheap. BrewBuds' K-Cups cost $7 a piece. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Las Vegas.